Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about 10 awesome things you might not have known about Grand Theft Auto Online. Some of these might be hidden details, tips or tricks, or just some cool things that were originally cut from online that have actually now been discovered. So we've got a lot to talk about today, so let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. Okay, at the number one spot, did you know that the ramp buggy actually has some bulletproof features, which is actually kind of unique. So this is interesting because it only will apply to NPCs that are shooting at you, but this can be great for gang attacks or other PVE opportunities. Basically, there's like a 60 degree cone that surrounds the front of the ramp buggy. Now, I don't know if this has to do with the script that allows you to flip cars or whatever it is, but it actually will make you bulletproof. Now, for this example right here, it was a little tricky because I was doing a gang attack and these guys started circling me from all sides, but you'll notice when I had them in front of me in that kind of 60 degree field of view, they actually actually weren't able to shoot me nor were they able to do any damage to the ramp buggy. It wasn't until I actually spun the vehicle around on the side when I actually started taking damage and I ended up getting killed. So this can actually be super useful. It's a shame that we can't use these special vehicles on things like contact missions or heist because then they would be super, super helpful. Uh, but you can still use them for, like I said, gang attacks or just doing random various things inside of your free mode lobbies that require you to fight in PCs. Because if you use this correctly, it can basically become a giant shield and that is actually super cool. So that's a nice little tip I didn't know about the ramp buggy, and I'm sure you guys probably didn't know about that either. Alright, up next I'm going to be showing you guys a super easy way in which you can find a rare vehicle that you can actually use to sell and turn around and make a profit. So I've told you guys about many of the rare modifiable NPC cars that you'll find around the world. This could be like the yellow or blue Sand Kings that you find in Sandy Shores, or the modified Sentinel XS's that you find sometime in the middle of the night near the Eclipse Penthouse apartments. However, one of the best vehicles to sell because it gets you the most money is the gold and chrome dubstas. However, for the longest time now, it's actually been unavailable to find in free mode. Rockstar have just prevented them from spawning in. And that's been because the normal dubstas we have don't trigger them spawning in the game. However, through one method, you can get a dubsta that will allow these to spawn in. So what you are going to need to do is have one of your friends start up a motorcycle club, invite you, and then make you the road captain. And one of the road captain abilities will allow you to spawn in these dubstas and it's different you can tell the wheel on the back sort of the spare tire is offset a little bit and that's the one that's going to allow you to find the rare modified dubstas now there's two locations here that I have found the best that work for finding this the first of which would be the Los Santos custom shop the one in the city is probably the best just kind of drive around like a mile radius and start coming back you should see them spawning there and if they don't try and drive around near Mart Madrazo's house in the Vinewood Hills and if you do this during the day you're typically gonna have a little bit of better luck. Around noon to 2 p.m. is when typically I found the best results here, but either way, you can use this Road Captain Dubsta ability to essentially use this anytime you want. And what you can do is basically just create a garage full of rare Dubstas and then sell them every opportunity you get, making about twenty dollars to $21,000 each time. So a great way to make some money, collect these rare vehicles, rinse, and repeat. Okay, up next I'm going to be showing you guys a really fun launch glitch that you can do. What you're going to need to look for are these like chain link blue fences. The best location for these is actually located on Vespucci Beach. Now, in order for this launch glitch to work, you're going to need a friend and you're going to need to go into passive mode. Go into passive mode, stand on the blue fences, and then what you're going to need your friend to do is actually throw sticky bombs on the fence itself and then blow them up. And because you're in passive mode, it's going to shoot you straight up into the air. You'll go flying and you actually shouldn't take any damage on your way down. It's really cool. It's kind of like you're riding a surfboard almost all the way up into the sky. You can actually get really, really high up here and I recommend that you try this out. If you have a big group of people, I recommend putting three or four people on there. Then you can really see what kind of fun happens. But that's a cool launch glitch that I just recently found out about and I wanted to share it with you guys. I love giving you guys things to do that'll make you laugh or troll your friends or do anything fun like that. All right, up next, I'm actually gonna show you guys how you can get the Ruiner 2000 underneath the map and how you can parachute around. It is like a really trippy experience. So obviously for this, you're gonna need a Ruiner 2000, and then you're gonna need to go to this location on the map. It's located uh, right uh, past the gun store near one of the ammunition stores, kind of near the train tracks. And what you wanna look for is this sign right above the air conditioners that say, My Batsu Motors Inc. And you kind of just wanna drive towards the base of that wall. And for whatever reason, the Ruiner 2000 slips straight through. I have no idea why this is the case or why something like this is 
is happening. Uh, and I'm not even entirely too sure if it works really that well with other vehicles. It might be the shape of the Ruiner that allows it to fit so perfectly. But if you pull the parachute immediately, you should be able to glide for a really long time and you'll be able to see the underside of the world of Los Santos. You'll likely probably be able to freak your friends out as well or troll them. They'll be like, what the heck? Where did this person go? Because you're underneath the map, but as you can see, the mini map is still moving right there. So it's pretty cool. It's absolutely harmless. And if you decide to, you know, pull the parachute cord or just, you know, get rid of it, you'll fall for a little bit and then you should just spawn right back on top of the map, right where you were underneath. So this is really cool. Check that out for yourself. It is really, really fun. And it's a super weird experience as well. And uh, you'll definitely get a kick out of it. And you'll definitely be able to troll your friends pretty easily also. Now, kind of on a similar note, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually fly a Hydra underneath the map. So for this, you're going to need to get a Hydra or you're going to need to buy one or have your friend give you one. And then what you want to do is head on over to the Life Invader building. So apparently there's a way for you to get the Hydra inside of the Life Invader building. I don't know the exact specifics of it, but you can kind of see what I'm doing right now where my Hydra just kind of like phases through the wall of the Life Invader building. And you can see sort of like the inside hallways there and what was built out for the one or two story mode missions that actually require you to go inside. However, what you can do is if you drive underneath, you can actually go all the way under underneath the map. Now, for whatever reason, I got stuck on something, so I wasn't able to continue to fly around. Maybe it was because I was in the hover mode instead of the fly mode, but for whatever reason, I could not fly. I kept getting stuck on something, so I eventually did blow up, but just like with the Ruiner 2000, as long as you kind of fly in that like stable place where you're not going too low and you're not going too high, you can fly under the map forever, and hopefully you just don't hit anything like train tunnels or anything like that, and you should be good to go to just kind of chill out there and fly fly around whatever you want. You want another way to really freak out your friends. They'll see this icon going super fast on the map, but they'll have absolutely no idea where they are. So again, pretty interesting stuff. That's how you can actually fly into the Life Invader building and then get yourself underneath the map. Okay, up next, I really don't know what to call this glitch. Some people have been calling it like the rodeo effect, but it really, it just freaks your car out and it's really, really fun. So what you want is some sort of pickup truck, slam van, Trevor's Bodhi works great for this also. And then what you wanna go to is any location on the map that has one of these dumpsters that you can actually push around. Now what you wanna do is back your vehicle into the spot where the dumpster originally was. So you can see I've moved it out of the way right here and it's tipped over on its side. And then from there, what you want to do is just drive around the block in another vehicle. And hopefully when you drive back to your car, you should notice that your vehicle is kind of perched up inside of the dumpster. And when you get back inside, your entire car is gonna start shaking, it's gonna start rumbling. Like, it, it, seriously, it's the craziest thing ever. And this would be really cool if you had some people in the back as well. If you had a passenger as well, they'd probably be freaking out too. Now you can easily get your car unstuck from this, so it's not gonna destroy it. But again, if you wanted to freak out your friends or just show them something pretty cool, this is what you can do. It's kind of like your car has ants in its pants or something like that, or it's on fire or something like that. It's just jumping around, bumping up and down. It's pretty crazy and it's a really fun, harmless, glitch that I know you guys can have a lot of fun with. Okay, something else that's pretty interesting is apparently on the Sultan RS, the Fender modification you know, page is missing. You guys are saying that the Sultan RS had modifications missing, so I wanted to check this out for myself. I brought my Sultan RS to Benny's, and lo and behold, I didn't have the Fender options, which is pretty crazy. So I don't know if this is a glitch, or I don't know if this is something that is happening to everyone or just myself, but it looks as if, yeah, there is an issue with the Fenders. I wasn't able to upgrade them. They definitely should have been after their engine and they should have been before grill, but they weren't there. So I don't know what the case is. Rockstar haven't obviously put out an explanation for this, but hopefully sometime soon that will be fixed because I know how popular the Sultan RS is and to not be able to upgrade the fenders is kind of a bummer. All right, so let's move on to a couple other things outside of Grand Theft Auto Online. I saw this on Reddit by a user Giant Sap and he posted this. He said, I don't know if I'm late on this, but has anyone noticed that past can be read right side up and upside down? And he obviously posted this image right here. And if we were to flip this upside down and literally flip it, it would still say the word past, which I actually thought was really cool. You see that mission past thing literally after every time you do a mission. And I'm pretty sure the definition for a word that has a property like this, where it can be read both forwards and backwards and upside down, uh, is ambigram. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what it is though. I'm not sure if I was taught that in English class or whatnot, but I just noticed that it's kind of like one of those mind blown situations right there. So that is pretty cool. Moving on, you've probably sent a message in Grand Theft 
Theft.Online that might have been rejected because it had a banned word. Well, I'll leave a link in the description to the full list of banned words that Rockstar have in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I'm not gonna be going over them because some of them are a little, uh, let's just say R-rated. So again, check this out if you want. I, it's a little not safe for work, but there are a ton of interesting and weird words that you can't say in Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, like you can't say developer, you can't say eggplant. Those are just a couple words. There's also a bunch of Rockstar employee names you can't say. Like you can't say Leslie, you can't say Benzies, you can't say the bends. So I don't know why those have been banned. Uh, you can't say things like Rockstar Developer or Rockstar Dev. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Again, a little not safe for work, but if you're ever curious on the banned words of online, uh, I will once again leave a link to that in the description. And finally, last but not least, some information found by WildBrick142 on the GTA forum site. He's actually found one of the most mysterious missing vehicles of all time. So you guys know this Warstock ad right here. It's got a couple vehicles that we have in game, but also a couple vehicles that we don't. And this one that is mentioned under ATV, the name of this has actually been discovered. It's called Squatty, which is actually kind of cool. Now, the description for Squatty is a two-door light tactical military truck with lots of room in the back for cargo or passengers. Great for raiding a compound or rolling around with rappers or soccer moms, all of which need oversized armored SUVs to travel through busy city centers. So it looks as if Rockstar were going to include this in the game, the squatty military ATV kind of Hummer style vehicle, kind of makes you wonder if we'll ever see something like that come forward in the future, if Rockstar were to ever do like an off-road or a military style DLC. But anyways, that's really all the information I have for you guys in this video today. Uh, basically 10 cool new things, tips and tricks, secret details, hidden features that you might not have known about in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys did go on and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. I will be live streaming here in a bit later today on my channel, so please do stick around for that. It's going to be a ton of fun. But of course, without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.